Welcome, my artistic friends of the interwebs. First, let me say, um, please forgive the crickets. <laughs> it's this time of the year. I'm out on my back deck. I'm working on a painting. And so, yeah, Mother Nature is up front and uh, in your face. It is what it is. Um, I wanted to show you what I have on my easel at the moment. It changes all the time. I do a lot of oil paintings these days. So, I've usually got, you know, three, four, five different oil projects going at the same time. Right now, I put this on there. This is um, a landscape painting, uh, but I, and I know that this drives some people crazy. Not that I care, but it drives me crazy that I, I'm doing this landscape painting with the uh, canvas in uh, portrait mode. <laughs> you know, portrait mode. If you don't know what I'm talking about, portrait is when you have uh, the canvas in, this, in that position, whereas landscape would be like that. Okay, portrait, landscape. I know, I know most of you know that, but some of you do not. So I thought I'd uh, throw that in there. Anyway, so what I've done... Oh, by the way, I just want to tell you. The reason I do that is because that's just how I feel it. And the truth of the matter is, is that... I don't... Is, is that a rule? I don't think it's a rule. And if it is a rule, screw it. <laughs> that's the way I look at it. You know who used to do a lot of their landscape paintings um, like this in portrait mode? is uh, Modigliani. And I love, love, love Modigliani. If you don't know who he is, you need to Google him. Um, he's, he was an amazing, he was a contemporary of um, Pablo Picasso's. Just an amazing, one of my favorite Italian artists, period, hands down. Anyway, he used to do it like this. His landscape paintings like this. So, I don't know. Not that that's why I do it like this. I just do it like this because I feel it. I like showing from the ground perspective all the way up to the sky. Skies are my favorite. I love the skies. I love, I just do. And I love red skies. And, you know, Toledo, Ohio recently had an amazing pastel red and blue sky in the evening. And it was just crazy. So, anyway, so yeah, this is basically a tree. I'm, I'm going to, I have a lot of work to do on the tree yet. Tons, tons, tons. And um, so it will be, look, that tree will look completely different when it's done. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it an apple tree. I may make it an apple tree. Let me know in the comment section. Should it be an apple tree? <laughs> you know? Um, and of course, the poppy field and the brutal sky. Now, here's one of the things I did different in this painting than I normally do. I used a palette knife for a lot of this painting. And I threw that paint on thick, very impasto. Um... I don't normally do that. I mean, as far as uh, using a palette knife, I just felt I just felt it. So that's how I do things. I don't even, most of the time, I don't put a lot of thought into it. I just do. I just do. Yeah. See how impasto that is? Now, my favorite, um, to be honest with you, my favorite is brush. I love brush strokes. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm literally a brush stroke whore. I just damn. Um, but every now and again... Break out the pellet knives. Let me know what pellet... I see, I have these pellet knives I got at um, Hobby Lobby. I don't remember who makes them, but to be honest with you, I'm not I'm not really feeling these particular pellet knives. Now, I've heard Liquid Text make some really good pellet knives. I don't know. Richard Musgrave said it's his go-to brand. I don't know if you know. If you don't know who Richard Musgrave is, he's an Italian um, plein air art artist and just an amazing, amazing artist, but... Yeah, look him up on YouTube. He is crazy good. But he does a lot of pellet knife paintings. But he said he used the Liquitex pellet knives. I've never used Liquitex pellet knives, but I'm definitely looking for something a little different than what I have right now. But anyway, so yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I just wanted to chime in. Hopefully you guys are having a wondrous day. Um, definitely, if you can, check out my Instagram. I'm also working on my Patreon uh, big, big things going on in Patreon. I've had the same Patreon for years now, and I've been extremely successful, but as a photographer. So I'm switching over from my photography to um, paintings and, and sketches, art, that type of artwork versus the photography artwork. So it should be interesting. Um, yeah. I'll have links below. Please, please, please click. Also, share. Sharing is caring. I can't tell you that enough. And make sure you rate this. Rate it even if you hate it. <laughs> you rate it even if you hate it. By the way, this tree's going to be a lot bigger. Probably by a third. And there's going to be a lot of changes to the trunk. And there will probably be some more flowers. And no, I'm not going to add any birds. 
At least I don't think I'm going to add any birds. I might add a bird. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, everybody take care. See ya!